This is a quick video over the Poisson distribution. And all we're going to do is just do a couple examples real quick. So let's say we have a Poisson distribution. We're told it. We're told that we have five comets passing by Earth per day. Per day. So what this is telling us, this is telling us that lambda is equal to five. Now if I ask you what's the probability that we have, oh, uh, two comets pass by per six hours. Six hours. Well, what we're saying is we're saying x is equal to the number of comets per six hours. Now, we have our Poisson in, in, uh, in days, so we need to convert that into hours. So all we do is we say, okay, well, this is really five comments, five comments in 24 hours, and we want six hours, so that's one fourth. So then, the Poisson, our lambda, must be one fourth of what it originally was. So now we get x with a Poisson distribution of the lambda being equal to 1.25. Now I just wanted to point out one thing. If we have a Poisson distribution with lambda equal to 1.25, the variance, the variance of x, is also equal to the variance of x is also equal to lambda, which is equal to 1.25. So again, that's the variance. Oops, variance doesn't quite look like a sigma. But let's just continue on finding the probability. So what we're asking is we're asking for the probability that x is equal to two. And for a Poisson distribution, it's e to the power of negative lambda to lambda, or times lambda to the power of x, all divided by x factorial. Well, that's simply equal to e to the negative 1.25 times 1.25 times, or to the power of 2, all divided by 2 factorial. And let's plug that into a calculator real quick. So we have. 2.71 to the power of a negative a negative 1.25 so times 1.25 5 to the power of 2 2 and then we want to put brackets around all that and divide by 2 what we get is we get 0 0.02246. So 0 0.02246. 0 0.02246. So we found the probability of two comets passing by in a period of six hours. Now, if I asked you, what's the variance of that? Well, I said that was 1.5. Well, let's say what I asked you, what's the variance of if x is equal to the number of comets? comments per week. Well, what is that? Well, that's simply that's simply the Poisson distribution, which was originally five comments per day, but now we're doing it per week, and there are seven days in a week. So all we do is multiply five by seven, and we get 35 comments per week. You would expect, on average, you would expect the expected value of x to be for a week 35 comments. And again, the variance of this, if it's a true Poisson distribution, is equal to lambda, which is equal to 35. So that's just the basic definition. If it's the if the variance is equal to the lambda, and it's also equal to the expected value of x. So variance of x.